This poor thing has seen better days. The leaves just aren't as green and as big as they should be. Why? My guess is it's pretty root bound at this point. How do we fix that? Today I'm gonna to show you how you can rejuvenate your plants that have gone root bound. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome to Fleetwood Patch. Appreciate you stopping by. My name is Jeremy. You can reach us at fleetwoodpatch at gmail.com as well as Facebook and Instagram. Okay, today we're going to talk about rejuvenating some plants in your house that maybe just don't look like they're taking off very well. Um, you're giving them water, you're giving them light. What else is there? Well, a lot of times they can get root bound. Now, root bound basically means the roots are just in a big, giant ball down below, okay? They have no room to go anywhere. And when that happens, your plant really starts to struggle. Now, this is a perfect example. This is our Thai basil plant. Uh, leaves on this thing should be way, way bigger, I think, than they are right now. As you can see, we got something on there to help it uh, stay on top of watering and everything like that. So it's getting water. Um, it's in a window that gets a lot of sunlight. So it's getting those two major components. Um, but what's going on with it? Well, I'm going to take this outside and we're going to take a look down below here just to see how root bound this really is. And I'm going to show you a trick on how you can fix it. So I'm outside here right now. We're going to go ahead and open this plant up and uh, kind of see what the roots look like on the, uh, on the inside. And just as I suspected down below here, you can see a really, really formed root ball. Uh, there's no room for these roots to grow. So where are we going to, what are we going to do with that? This is going to be controversial guys, but you got to trust me on this and I'm going to prove it to you. You are going to cut one third of the plant off. That's roots and all. Okay. And what you're going to do is from there, you're going to fill new potting mix into your pot, put that back in and you're gonna see some pretty impressive results within about a week. So all I used for this was just a serrated uh, kitchen knife basically used for cutting bread. It just cuts through those roots nice. Um, take that, obviously you can reuse that soil, put it in your garden beds out there. Um, free soil, what can I say? But again, no more than one third of that. And then after that, you're just gonna add in some fresh potting mix. What this is going to do is it's going to give roots room to spread out because it's not as compacted. Also, it's got those fresh nutrients in it that uh, possibly it probably uh, sucked up before uh, as it was growing. And what I did here is I just kind of brushed off the top layer of uh, wood chips and everything that was on it. Go ahead and set that back in. Not too tight. You don't have to jam it in there. Uh, go ahead and take your potting mix and just kind of fill it in around the sides too. That way there's no gaps. There's no air getting in there. You just got that nice fresh soil. And uh, it's going to soften up that plant a lot. And uh, it's going to make for some really phenomenal growth within about a week's time. And after you got all that nice new potting mix in there, what I like to do is go ahead and put the 
watering globe back in and give it a nice little drink. And what this does, it's going to encourage those roots to actually point down a little more. And now there's room for them to spread out. What you're going to see is a pretty cool transformation of this guy. And again, he's looking okay, but he's got no room to spread out. And when they have that room, it's pretty amazing how much bigger they'll grow. Talk is cheap though, so what we're going to do is we're going to wait about a week and we're going to see where we're at. So I will see you guys in about a week on this. And here's a much better angle in the sunlight. You can really see that the, those leaves have really gotten super green. A lot of that uh, brown that was in the ends of those leaves before, that's gone. Um, they have room to spread out now. Those roots are being able to re-extend, soak up all the nutrients of that new soil, and just thrive. So that is it for today, guys. Hey, I know it's a controversial way of doing things. Probably going to get one or two comments down below saying, hey, you really shouldn't be doing that. Guys, it works. Again, no more than one-third below where that root is, okay? Just one-third of that cut off add that fresh soil in there results speak for themselves guys it does work give it a try sometime until next time this is jeremy of fleetwood patch saying you got this god bless guys